Yo, what's going on, 60 Sam Lander Squad? I just want to say, first things first, this first portion is going to be all about showcasing the gods' abilities, ultimate, and passive. If you already know everything there is to know about that kind of stuff, then don't worry. Just go on to the, the gameplay portion. But I figured this would probably be best to do because a lot of people don't know what the hell Tiamat does. But she is a new mage in the game. I don't know if it's a she, but it's a dragon. There's a new mage in the game. Got magey auto attacks. Also extremely loud. I apologize. Let me turn that down a little bit. Extremely loud. So we'll just uh, we'll kind of rapid fire through these abilities. So, ability one. It's a lot to go through. Let me um. Let me go to quick casting so you can see everything. So. This is the targeter for ability one. As you can see, it's pretty normal. However, when you let go of the targeter, it starts charging up. Now, you can shoot this ability at any point you want. I'll show you right now. However, when you when you sh prematurely shoot it, um, or prematurely shoot it, <laughs> less of the projectiles actually come out. Now, if you hold and you do the whole thing, You'll notice that more and more projectiles come out as time goes on. That is also um, based on the level of the ability, I believe. But there you go. I mean, that, that, that's it's pretty simple, right? So the longer you charge it, if you can afford to charge it longer, then obviously you should. Uh, there's damage drop off for each additional orb that hits the same target. However, you can strafe and hit more than one target. So it's okay. Your second ability is this cool new targeter in the game. They call it a double rounded triangle. And basically the outer edges of the triangle, you'll see right here. All it does is do some damage. Nothing super spectacular, just a little bit of damage. However, in the center, it will do the initial damage tick and then a secondary damage tick as long as or as well as a stun. Your third ability. Well, actually, let's go over your fourth ability because this it's a lot it's a lot to go over on this one. So you got the one, you got the two. The one is the projectiles. The two is the shooty shooty boy that also stunts. Now your alt is on a pretty short cooldown, but you'll notice when I when I press four. I can toggle it off with no cooldown. However, you also notice that I get three different abilities. When I get these three abilities, they all do different things. The one, I will place it right there. It will summon minions, two little minions that die when they get auto-attacked. And they live indefinitely if they do not get auto-attacked. So they will just keep fucking going. And as you'll notice... This will spawn three waves of them. And then disappear. So it spawns three waves of them and disappears. I probably should have thought about this because it's obnoxious as hell. So I'm going to go over here. Um, the second button is a Minotaur. Now you can summon a Minotaur here. You notice that the Minotaur, it just stands there, right? That's all it's doing. Um, and yes, uh, as you can see, those are indefinite. They will not go away unless they're auto-attacked or hit by a tower. Um, the Minotaur will just stand here unless there's something near it. In which case... I believe it... Oh, maybe it only charges players. Let me go over there and show you. If there is something near it... It will charge to the nearest player, slowing them by 80%. Yeah, you heard that right. 80% slow for one second, and then just stick to them and damage them. Kind of like an Argus, but like a miniature version. Your third ability is a tornado, kind of like Kukulkin, but it will actually follow the nearest enemy, do a couple of ticks of damage, and then knock them up. So, um, again, let me run over there to show you that it does knock up, because it obviously doesn't knock up the Gold Fury. So it'll go to the nearest person, 
and then hit them a little bit and then knock them up and that is your ultimate however you can only pick one thing while you ult so make sure to pick carefully for the situation next up is the three now, the reason i waited for the three till after the alt is because um you use it and now you're a melee character you were a ranged character you were a mage now you're a melee character what the fuck what do your abilities do now well let me tell you oh let me go let me actually i'll go over to the buff camps to explain this one because it can get a little convoluted so spawn a red buff <sighs> your one and a cone does damage Boop. that's all it does no big deal right Eh, kind of a big deal because your one can actually execute now you'll notice i have the red buff on me and there's a red buff on the ground what does that mean well let's go ahead and just you see the little emblem above the head that means you can eat it you kill this and pick it up now i have the red buff and the yellow buff on at the exact same time if you execute a buff you get that buff put on you for the full duration of the buff no drawbacks and it's there for another teammate to pick up if you were to play conquest or something now you might be saying sam can you pick up all the buffs no unfortunately or should i say fortunately they capped it at two so you cannot however having two buffs in duel being able to have your your blue buff and your speed buff or your red buff and your speed buff or your red buff and your blue buff or whatever it's a huge huge thing i mean i i don't really know what else to say it's just a huge fucking thing now the two um thank god the two is really simple it's a big ass cone it goes in sections boom 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 and uh it hits anything it hits it knocks up it does damage and whatever it hits it knocks up pretty simple not too much to explain there just a normal knockup. Um, your three is a slash attack that jumps you back into your mage form. And your four is your ultimate. In this stance, your ultimate is a big swirl thingy. Um, by the way, the, the cooldowns I have right now, they're not real cooldowns. I Because I have the reduced cooldown. I have this thing on right here. Um, but... Yeah, it's a big swirl, and anything you hit with that, or any god you hit with that, I should say. I believe it's god. Um, I believe it's god. But I could be wrong. Um, It will stack up your passive. Now it's time to go through the passives. Because this is why people say she has ten abilities. I just ran you through eight of them. And her two passives are the other are the other two abilities. Now, the, her passive in her melee stance, because you might be thinking, well, she's a mage. She doesn't look very tanky like Hades. Why is she melee? Well, in this stance, that 1250 you see right there and those five glowing orbs, those are actually stacks of damage and mitigation. And basically, um, oh, it says it says right up here. In ground stance, she gains up to five hardened scales. Damage mitigation that breaks after a certain amount of damage is taken. Normal minions do not provide hardened scales. So you have to hit either boss camps or gods. Um, and the scales are 60% of that damage is mitigated. So let's say I just I take this damage. You see that number ticking down. Even though I'm taking the buff, that number ticking down is extra damage mitigated that I'm doing. So I'm, while I might not be taking no damage, as you see here... I am taking very little because this buff is, um, or this mitigation, I should say, is is taking it for me, really. And you see these orbs slowly going down, and um, I'm trying to wait for this next one to pop. And there you go. It slowly ticks down. I believe each orb is 250 HP. Each orb is 250 HP, I think. I could be wrong though. Okay. And now, passive in the other stance, turn back into a mage. Uh, this one is, while in flying stance, 
Tiamat gains health from nearby allies and enemy deaths. Less from minions. But still some from minions. But only allies. So it's less important. By the way, these things are still going. It's it's ridiculous that they don't die. Um. Now, when these things die, I should get some sort of... Of little tip thing. Oh, I'm getting hit because... Make the minions really tanky. I'll hide back here so I don't take aggro so you can see my passive charge up a little bit. Mm. It is not charging. I don't know. But, anyways point is if you um kill an ally or an enemy while in the mage stance you get a large a large heal which is 40 plus 8 per level um 8 times 20 is 160 so 200 hp per kill basically or a small heal um which is 5 plus 0.5 per level which you know obviously is 10 extra so only 15 there but you know you get healing from it and it's pretty gnarly pretty gnarly so those are her 10 quote abilities let's finally get into the game welcome to the video gaming portion of the video where i'm going to be doing to what what Welcome to the video gaming portion. <laughs> well, the first portion was me talking about the uh, the the, uh, the fuck the abilities. Whatever. Welcome to the video gaming portion, where we play video games on new gods in PTS. They apparently PTS went down between the time that I recorded the the abilities and now and apparently they took away my recolor so my, my green boy i can use this one which is kind of like a purpley blue boy i'm down i'll use this one all right i'm nervous dude because I, I i haven't seen anybody play this character and the only thing i've actually seen about this character is one me Going over the abilities and uh, two, the developers going over the abilities. So that's the only thing I've seen. I don't really know what to think. Um, I'm gonna go conduit gem, even though I believe it to be probably a mistake because you have so many abilities, you can't really ever get the full conduit gem power. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go this. I'm gonna go this. Oh, also, before I forget, let's change this back to instant testing. <laughs> dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. My Blazing energy. Okay, my clear is horrible. Ah, oh, I'm getting my ass beat, dude. Boop. 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 Okay. Wow, my my buff clear is just horrendous. But that's okay, because I'm sure the more I level my one, the more projectiles I will shoot, the more damage will be done. I'm gonna jump away here. All right, I turned into my uh, my melee stance to try to get a little bit, not tankier, but like more secure, you feel me? Oh, 
Oh, that is not what at all what I wanted to happen. Okay. I tried to use my three as a jump, and I forgot when you're in melee stance, it's not a jump, it's a blowback. Like Vulcan's one. And I almost killed myself. That would have been unfortunate. But also not that much. Does this do damage when I land on him? Oh, it does. Alright. Damn. Didn't have enough for my one there. Or not not enough mana, but it was about not having quick enough Aikulis. The two seems really nice on this. In the melee stance. Also, why is my the cooldown of my ult like actually 0.1 seconds? Oof. Oof, he turned into the guy and slammed me. That's okay, that's okay. I feel like I should keep instant casting on for you guys. At least for this video. Or quick casting on, I mean, for you guys. At least for this video. He just died to a tower. Like, literally a tower. He killed me. He killed me and then died to a tower. We don't talk about it. I'm <laughs> too late, big guy. <laughs> Oh wait, I can actually, I can pick up this, Your middle tower is under attack. and then eat the blue buff, and have both on, right? Oh, didn't what does the execute range for my one? Oh shit. So yeah, I, I now have blue and speed buff on. Appa, stop! Appa, stop! Jeez Louise, dude, he's sitting there scratching my leg. Oh, red buff, are ya? But I don't even want a red buff. Let me jump backwards with this. Charge up a fucking banger. Stun him. The stun goes off pretty quick, by the way. I'm gonna use my one here. And just summon minions with it. Make it harder for him to clear this wave. Because, you know, he doesn't really auto-attack all that much. Oh, come here, come here. Got him. I got him. Oh, towers actually hit. Or my minions actually hit tower too. Towers actually hit my minions. I feel like I don't actually give a shit about cooldown. Is that bad? I feel like I just care about damage on this character. A beautiful creation indeed. Also, Rod got nerfed, I believe, from 160 power to 140 power. So, you know. As far as I'm concerned, it, it didn't get nerfed. Let's summon these again. I feel like just spamming the summon for your minions is a good call. At least for in duel. Okay. He's turning into the guy. Oh, I can eat these. I forgot about that. I can eat my own minions that I spawn in order to gain stacks of my mitigation. Kind of like Vakasura. I summon the Minotaur. It's chasing, but it's also not doing anything. It died on Fort. I really feel like for a mage, her mage stance is kind of bad. It's it's almost all about 
the melee stance. I'll eat that so I can pick it up. Happening. This happened. Mm, let's see, what do I want to do here? I guess I'll summon the tornado. There's his alt, but I'm also kind of okay. Mm. I really don't do a lot of damage. I'm just going to turn into mage form here so I can clear a little bit more safe. Just a little, just a little bit more safe. Alright, he turned into the guy. That's scary. You know, I didn't get the kill, but I actually feel okay about that. Damn. Damn. He's. I don't know if maybe it's a, he being tanky or me not doing any damage. Which could be both, to be honest. He did first item double defense. Well, like his start item is defensive and then he first item shoguns. Um, maybe I go gem. Maybe he's a gem character, kind of like Kukulkin. I don't know. I mean, I'm learning the same time you guys are. Overall, though, I mean, I think so far... It's not bad, but the mage form is not the play, it seems. But then again, I haven't killed him in either form, so maybe I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Holy crap. Okay, so he just out damages me by a ridiculous amount. By a whole lot of a whole lot of ridiculous amount. Your middle tower is under attack. Your middle tower. I don't know how I feel, man. I don't know how I feel. Oh god, I'm dead. Oh god, run. Oh god, run. Beautiful scars. I welcome them. Hmm. I'm scared. I'm scared and listening right now. Blazing energy. All right, he has his ult, by the way. I want him to jump on me so I can jump away. Okay, 
Okay. I ulted when the tower shot was going to hit me. Because to be completely honest, I don't know if my ult gives me mitigation. It doesn't. That was stupid. That being said, my ultimate in this form is on like a six second cooldown. So... Okay, it's an eight. It's an 18 second cooldown. My mistake. Close enough. Close enough. Creation indeed. Um, turn that way. Oh, uh, let's see. I think I will pick up the double buff in my other stance. go i summon this in my uh in my mage stance just so i could do some extra damage maybe oh ouch actually not ouch We are doing pretty okay now. And I gotta be honest, it all started with the gem. One stunned my boys. There's one stunned my minions. Also, you can see my passive going off in this stance. I have literally no life steal and no pot ticking, but you can see those healing, um, those healing numbers popping up. I'm gonna eat the buff so I can get the red buff. Oh, I actually, I have two buffs on right now, huh? No red buff for me. Not yet, at least. But I will get one. I will. Don't you worry. I'll go pick it up. Maybe. Hmm. I don't know... What exactly to do here? My might. All right. I got my speed buff. He's backing. At least that's what I heard. He might have stopped it. <clears throat> huh? the blue buff and now I have my speed buff and my blue buff you and let's see where is he I'm gonna go get my 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 brush plate online here there is talent amongst us. and turn into a mage again real quick okay he has pretty much triple defense because once that's upgraded it will be counted as a defensive so I'm going to need some big boy damage. Jump away. Use my two to clear. So he's using his Ansile to stop my my three. Not my three, I'm sorry, my one. Okay. 
I'm gonna need a lot of magical penetration here. With this, I will tear apart my enemies. Because he's very tanky. What's his defense at? Yeah, 150 already. I guess I'm at 130. But he has more pen than me. Oh, that was a mistake. It feels good to face a worthy mm. opponent. I need some life steal. All right, let's go back. We did not win that fight, but I would argue to say also we didn't lose it. So I'll take it. Alright, let's get this double buff action. Okay. Okay. Took a little bit of finessing, but we got the buff. Grab soul. Is this all oh, Archmage gem? Dude, Archmage gem is so OP. Yeah, I assume he's going red buff. Well, he turned into the guy. I don't know what kind of damage output I'm supposed to be able to do. But this doesn't seem like the ridiculously overpowered god that just like is always there during release. Which in some cases is nice. But in the looks of the first look video. It's not nice because then it just makes me look like I'm bad at games. Which, you know, I don't think anybody expects me to be good. But it would be nice. My first time playing this guy, just, you know, just work, work with me. I mean, we got some good damage there. I need some lifesteal, I think. You know what? 
I'm actually pretty sure that's exactly what I need is some lifesteal. Oh yeah, I'll pick this up, why not? Maybe... I don't even want this, and I go Bancross. Just kidding, I'll get this for right now. A beautiful creature. I'll get this for right now, basically because I can't afford anything else. Wow, he's tanky. 200 defense and 2700 HP. Quite the amount of damage. Oh, I need to eat the buff in order to get the buff. Yeah, I didn't do that there. Burn away Oh my god, we actually killed him. Holy crap. Now that is just amazing. That's just... I don't even know. I don't have words for that. Pretty sure I sell my Gem of Iso because he got Wingblade though. Gonna spawn extra minions here to help me clear. Clear the wave. Turn into my big boy. It is the beginning of the end. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy phoenix. Gonna eat all the minions I can here. Okay, so I have my damage mitigation passive all the way stacked up in my uh in my other form. He sold another item and now has 3,000 HP. Increasingly making me want to build Soul Reaver. Wow, you get the big heal off a of jungle buff. Did you guys see that? Holy crap. Yeah, I, I want Bancrofts. He has no anti-heal. I want to go Bancrofts and then I want to I want to get this 1,500 pot and go Typhons because that'll give me... 10% pennant as well. So I'll have 20%, which is good. Not great, but good. He's getting super tanky. But he's losing out on damage to do it, so I actually don't think it's worth it for him. Alright, I got all my buffs. I really want Soul Reaver. I don't know what to sell for it. Kind of scared of this, to be honest with you. Hmm. All right. Well, I didn't get the kill, but I did win the fight, which is a start. Definitely a start. 25 minutes in, we're winning fights, baby. Let's do this. I'm kind of just spamming right now, and I think... 
This kind of feels like the way you're supposed to play him, as weird as that sounds. Okay, he's turning into the guy. I will not be, uh... Be there for. Mage boy, mage boy, let's do this. Maybe get some damage off if we can. Never mind, cancel that. Nice, and saw proc. Decent poke, decent poke. He jumps in, I jump out. That's just how it works. definitely doing good man we are definitely doing good I, I think I'm getting the hang of it er fuck sorry all right so you see there I basically jumped in has ki killed as much things as I possibly could Yo, these minions are like super OP for backdooring. Holy shit. I wish I could tell you what happened. Trust me, I, I really do. But I don't know. I was spamming every ability I had. Every single one. I don't know what's better damage though. Like on Titan? I'm sure it's, it's this, right? Oh, it's definitely that. Holy shit, I should have been in that stance the whole time. That was crazy. That was tough. that was a tough game. I don't even know what my first opinion is. Obviously, she's fun to play. There's so many abilities and so much like um cooperation between the different abilities to make insane combos. Um, being able to eat the minions she summons in her other stance in order to gain mitigation is crazy. I really feel like the Minotaur is the most useless bullshit ever, though. I mean, I guess... It, no, it's good for chasing. It's good for chasing. I was never in that scenario that game where I was close enough to chase well. But summoning a Minotaur for an 80% slow would be good for chasing. That's the Game of Thrones chair, or like, eh, you know? With the dragon on it, which is cool. Um, I found myself really liking the melee stance early game, the mage stance late game. And when it came to fighting late game, I basically just summoned the tornado on myself. Like, I used my ult, summoned the tornado on myself so that it would do damage and knock him up. And then just turned into... Like, spam all my abilities and mage stance, obviously. And then turn into the melee guy. Immediately alt. So that you can get that alt back up. Because the cooldown is like 10 seconds. When you are when you have max cooldown. Um, so that you can get that alt up again later in the fight. And then knock him up and use the one. And it's like, the, the combo damage you do is so much. Either way. I think I don't have to say it. I like the god. She's fun to play. Um, tuning the damage up a little bit seems like the play in Mage Stance. Because it really feels like her Mage Stance does not do the damage you want it to do. 
But it's also very, very tricky because she has so many abilities, so everything has to be kind of low. So I don't know. I mean, tell me your thoughts on the god. Tell me your thoughts on the kit. Tell me your thoughts on the look. Tell me your thoughts on everything about it. And, um... Peace! Okay.